Warning, this is how I personally complete each project. I do have some mechanical and electrical knowledge. Use this video at your own risk. I am not and will not be responsible for any damage that may occur while you attempt to repeat as I do. Always follow all manufacturer warnings and instructions. Consult a professional if you are unsure. Daddy G Phil's World. What's up, everyone? Nowadays, cameras are everywhere. Whether it's people on their phones, a grocery store, at the mall, parking lots, car washes, driving, or dining out. There are always cameras around filming everything. But there is one set of cameras you want to keep in good operating order. These are the ones you pay for to protect your home and property. And over time, the image can fade and get blurry from being out in the elements. Here, I'm going to show you how to take your cameras from looking like this, a blurry mess, to clear again. Note, this will void your warranty if you have one. Now this is how a few of my cameras were filming everything. So blurry, you couldn't even make out the image. Now this is the same angle taken after I took it apart and cleaned it. Here's your camera. Remove the thumb screw and lift it up and off. Then replace the thumb screw so you don't lose it. On the back of the camera, there are two rubber plugs. Remove them. Now use a small screwdriver long enough to reach the screws inside. Then get you a small flathead screwdriver and remove the front plate. Here you can see water got into mine from a bad seal. Next, pull it out as far as possible. Now remove the plug with the red wire and green wire located here. Also remove the plug with the white, black, and yellow wire here. Now it's removed from its housing. You can see water spots and some sun damage on the lens. Now with the light and the night vision lens closest to you while it's laying on its face, remember the circuit is on the right side. Now there are two screws you will have to remove. Then remove the red wire, which came out while I was removing the screws. Then remove the white wire from the bottom. Then remove the red and blue wire from the top. Now, you see the board won't come out. It's got two pins that line it up. And two clips that hold it into the plastic. Just gently pull back on one side to remove the board. Now gently pull up on the camera lens and remove it from its seat. You can see the light and the night vision lens is still in. Holding it in as two small clips. Gently push one back and lift up the edge. Now pop out the foam ring that holds the camera lens. Then remove the outer rubber seal without damaging it. Now that's just a piece of plastic. I took mine in and washed it under some hot water with some Dawn dishwashing liquid. Then used a Q-tip with some lens cleaner to help get the inside and outside crystal clear. Then I cleaned the front and the back of the lens with a Q-tip with some lens cleaner until it was crystal clear. Once you see the lens is clean, it's time to put it back together. Remember, the light and the night vision lens is at the bottom. Place the phone back in. Put the light bar back in, making sure it snaps down with the wires at the top. Place the lens back in with the wires to the right side. Now place the board back into place with the circuit on the right.
place the white wire back at the bottom. Red and blue wire at the top. Red wire on the right plug. Replace the screws. And the rubber seal. Then put it back in the housing, plug in the wires, and you're done. Your camera should look like new again. Now if it isn't the actual lens that's the problem, you can also check the cable connection on the back of the hard drive along with the power source. The other end of the connection outside connected to the camera and any wire adapters you may have to make sure they're all securely connected with no debris or corrosion on them. If none of that works, you might want to check them out on another cable before buying a new camera. Daddy Gville's World